Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity and creator of Bogash Life and Balance. And today we're going to talk about something that a lot of the patients that come into my office seem uh, guilty over, and that has to do with drinking coffee. The, there's this misconception that coffee is not good for us, and that is quite frankly, the complete opposite of what we see in the medical literature very consistently as far as the benefits of coffee. Now, I do have to say that those benefits stop when we start adding all kinds of crap in it and creamers and artificial sweeteners, and, and that's where the, the, the benefits of coffee start to stop and we start seeing more downsides to that. Uh, coffee is also not uh, an excuse to skip breakfast. So some people have coffee for breakfast and that's not like, these are some of the reasons why coffee gets a bad rap, but it's not the coffee itself. It's the behaviors associated with that. Um, coffee, caffeinated coffee, not only does the caffeine, but the coffee itself has a lot of potent antioxidants that are very good, very good for us and generally very good for the blood vessels, which means they're going to be good for the um, your cardiovascular system. And uh, we've seen it helping with Parkinson's, cognitive decline. There's a lot of things that it helped with. Uh, so <clears throat> for me, first of all, I'm going to go over this study and then... I'll talk about how coffee, uh, how to make coffee even better for you and not make any mistakes that can make, can ruin some of coffee's benefits. This particular study, I mentioned there's, there's a lot of studies. This one was a meta-analysis looking at 26 different studies that included 3,700,000 people. So we're talking about a very large study. And they overall, they found that uh, car the ca drinking coffee was associated with 10% less cardiovascular disease, 10% less type 2 diabetes, 15% less endometrial cancer, 11% less melanoma, and 8% less non-melanoma skin cancers. Like that's, that's not phenomenal, but that's a powerful tool to add into your overall lifestyle and especially considering that some a lot of people seem to think that a coffee is not good for you this certainly starts to turn that around and really starts to cement the idea that when done properly coffee is actually very good for you the uh, <clears throat> they did find that the benefits seem to be limited after about three or four cups a day so um, one, two, three, four cups, good. By this time, time you start doing eight or 10 cups or you just hook it up to an IV, then we have less and less benefits. So uh, when it comes to coffee, first of all, I always tell people to try to do organic when possible because coffee and tea are notoriously high in pesticide residues. So if you can do organic, uh, like Costco sells organic for about three to four dollars a pound, it's a really reasonable price for organic coffee. So that's the first thing, is always try to start with organic when possible. And then the options are what to put in your coffee. And um, <clears throat> I already mentioned that artificial sweeteners are off the list. I'm not a terribly big fan of long-term use of Stevia either. Uh, my wife is the, coffee, the, the morning coffee drinker. She'll usually do some type of um, non-dairy creamer, whether it's hazelnut or soy or almond or um, whatever else is available. Uh, the, uh, and, and use that type of a creamer with reasonable amounts of calories in it. A typical creamer may have about 10 to 15 calories per serving, which is not going to counterbalance the positive benefits of the coffee. You could also try locally grown honey. That's another great way to sweeten that our bodies, you know, as hunter-gatherer genetics, like they know how to deal with and um, have to kind of check your blood sugar to see if, <clears throat> if you're diabetic to see if honey may affect it negatively in coffee, but it's certainly worth a try. Uh, for me, we have an espresso machine at the office, so I actually play barista at lunch also keeps I keep my uh, my team caffeinated in the afternoon they're, they're far more efficient 
But uh, we usually do, I'll do a double shot for me, I'll do a double shot of espresso, top it off with some cacao, <clears throat> occasionally cinnamon, and then ice and dark chocolate almond milk. So I'm probably pushing about 70, 80 calories for my drink, but it is loaded with all kinds of protective compounds, and uh, that's the way we need to, to, to manage it. If we're going to be drinking some calories, we've got to make sure that it comes along with really high benefits. As always, I'll post a link to this particular study in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.